Hi, this is Michael Bianconi from Southern Fire Guitars, and in a recent video, I played this tune. And after that video, I got some comments and even some emails wanting to know if I would give a lesson on how I played that tune. So that's what we're going to do today. And before we get started, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click that button, that little red one right down there that says subscribe. Click, yeah, that one right there. Click that button and ring that bell so they notify you every time I post a new video. I also want to give a shout out to Don Bruno, who scored a bunch of cool cigar boxes and sent me a couple of them, and also sent me these. These very nice string holders here, and these little string ferrules, and also forged a knife out of a railroad spike. Very cool. Thank you very much, Don. I really, really appreciate it. Now for this lesson, I'm going to need a three-string cigar box guitar with an awesome pickup. The problem is, which one should I use? I do have four brand new cigar box guitars right here. I have this one I call the Patriot. 25-inch scale, has a surface-mounted single-coil pickup with an awesome Made in America snuff can lid cover. I have a paint can lid resonator here with a P90 soap bar pickup, black neck, shotgun shell sound holes and volume knob, and I also got this really nice brick house guitar here with a P90 soap bar pickup, and I got this awesome Camacho camo box with a surface mounted humbucker pickup. Which one should I play? Hmm. It's hard to choose one when you have a selection like that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play through the tune a couple times and I'm gonna play each one of those four guitars and let you hear what it sounds like with the different pickups. First we have this paint can lid resonator with a P90 pickup. Uh, these are all tuned to an open G. And I'm going through my Vox Valvetronics amp right there. And I'll show you the settings on that in a minute. settings on my Vox amp right there and I use the same one for all the guitars 
like I said, this guitar is tuned to an open G, which is G, D, G. Now I'm going to bring the camera a little closer in so you can see what both my hands are doing. Okay, well the tune starts out with an open bottom G string and an open top G string. I'm doing a downstroke on the bottom string and an upstroke on the top string. First two notes. Then I'm going to the second string, hitting it open, and then doing a hammer on on the third fret, second string, then hitting the top string open again, and then the middle string open. So it'll sound like this. when I'm playing it I don't let the strings ring out like that I'm using the palm of my hand right here and palm muting the strings right against the bridge right here so you get that little thumpy sound that's the first part of the tune is this part You go back to the middle string, third fret, and you're going to hit that note. You're going to slide up to the fifth fret, then hit the top string open, then the second string again on the fifth fret, and then slide the, your finger back down. Then, then play that string open. So it'll sound like this. And then you're just hitting your bottom E string on the third fret and just doing this. Together, it'll sound like this. I'll play it slow. So here's what we have so far. Make sure on those two notes that you're doing a pull off from three on the second string, three to open, and then lower G string, three to open. I'll do it one more time. part goes like this. So what I'm doing there is bottom string open, top string open, then do the middle string, and then the hammer on the third fret. Actually the same, it's actually the same first half of the first part. But instead of doing this part, it's a little different. It goes... Then you go to the bottom string, the bottom string open, do a hammer on. 
top string open, second string open, and then go from the third fret to the fifth fret on the bottom string, and do a hammer on here, and then hit the last string open again. Looks confusing, but if you do it a few times, uh, you'll you'll catch it. goes like this. steady and a little more speed and you mute the strings in the back a little bit it'll sound a little like this The second little part to this little riff goes like this. Now this part here I will be muting the strings in the back and I'm doing a downstroke on all strings and then a quick upstroke like that. It's like a one and two and, one and two and, three and. And then I'll do this little hammer on, on the second string, just like the first part. Second string, third fret. And then hit the top string open. And then the second string open. another hammer on using the second string but I'll do a hammer on on the these two strings the second one and the third one on the third fret and then I'll hit the top string third fret because I'm barring these two strings right here top string and then the second string second string again, third fret, and then sliding up to the fifth fret, and then hitting the last string, fifth fret. You can also use your third finger here as well if you don't want to do the slide part. You could just go... learning that cool new riff if so let me know down in the comments from the jam cave my name is michael and i'll see you in the next one